Welcome back to S Wiggins TV. As always, I'm your host, Worldwide Wiggins. Woo! Boy, this is gonna be a far episode, man. Where these hoods are not extinct. Volume four. Before we get started, you might want to listen to this right here. I'd like to thank the two hubbies for my, you know, for, for shooting me the cash apps, man. Big shouts out to my boy KG for that $50, man. Man, much love, homie. You already know, man. Bless me, homie. Thanks a lot, kid. Much love, homie. You already know, man. Salute, bro. Keep in touch, kid. And a big shout out to my boy, man, Rico Salon, man, for that dub, too, man. You already know, man. Much love. Shouts out to the HTHs, man. We ain't stopping, man. You know what I'm saying? We, go, we, we got big things coming up, man. Salute to you, man. God bless, bro. Now, before we get started with the episode, I got something I want to say. A lot of people, when I did the um, Lantana Blocks versus Swap Compton Cribs, a lot of people was like, man, oh my gosh, you're getting deported. No, we feel for you. That's messed up. All right. And, and not to say I don't really believe you that you don't care, but let's see if you care, bro. I'm planning on doing the dash. You heard of Tay K? You know, you know his, his, his popular song? I'm planning on doing something like that, man. Do me a favor, man. If you care, right? Go to your cash app and send S Wiggins one dollar. I don't need your money. Let me see if you care. Let me see if you gonna stand on everything you was saying, bro. You say you care if something happened to me, S Wiggins. Yeah. Let's see, bro. Cause you know, if I do the race, you know I gotta keep the channel going, bro. You know, if you wanna keep the channel, let's see, bro. I don't need your money. Show me that you care, bro. Cause you know what, if I do the JK, bro. You no, know, I'm gonna have to get a couple weeklies. I'm gonna have to lay low. I'm gonna have to go to Alvarado and get a Izzle Dizzle, you know, with a new fizzle. Come on, man. You know how I go. You from LA, man. You know what's on Alvarado. You know, I'm gonna have to switch up. So show me that you care, man. You just got your GR yesterday. And, and, and by the way, that video had like 4,000, 3,000 views. And everybody commented, no, you're getting deported. I should have three bands, right? You know what I'm saying? Let me see. And 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 I'm, I'm willing to bet anybody. Just watch. In 24 hours, I'm going to show the results, bro, that people don't care. They just run their mouth. But we going to see, bro. And I'm going to keep showing this picture throughout the video so you don't forget. All right? <laughs> but anyway, man, let's continue on with the episode, man. First up, the original Swamp Compton Cribs. Shouts out to the big homie from Swamps, man. Now, see, I'm not sure if he wanted me to put his name out there, but yeah, he appreciated the content I put out about the friendships and fallouts between the original Swamps versus Lantana Block. And I was fortunate enough to get some rare flicks to the original Swamp Compton Cribs, and they deep. I'm finna smack you upside the head. Check this out. Blah! And guess what? The Swamps and Lantana squashed they beef. Here's a flick of them playing softball together. All right, but I'm not done. Check this out, too. Remember, I was telling y'all about the song that the Swamps had that went viral, you know, like a few years ago. General in my section, general in my section. From what I'm hearing, Free Wheezy, you know, I heard he was supposed to be locked up. You know, I'm not sure. I don't want to speak on something I'm not sure about. But the other homie on the song, you know, he's still rapping and doing his thing. And he got a dope freestyle over that juvenile ghetto children beat. And here's a snippet. See my daddy in and out the pen, he headed a felon. Had all types of crooked cops that was looking to nail him. I got niggas that got strikes and still risk it to mellow. Yeah, my niggas is turned up, but ain't shit you can tell him. Started young, I had a strap before my pubes developed. Caught a case and went to juvie, just me and the fella. I'm going to put the link in the, in the pinned comment. So look at my first comment. Well, the first comment when you scroll down. Y'all make sure you check it out, man, and run his views up. And let him know S. Wiggins sent you. Right. Next. You got the Six Hood Compton Crib. We about to get down to the meat of potatoes because this right here is going to be my favorite, you know, along with the swamps and the what's coming up next, you know, well, later on. We all definitely seen the interview on street TV about the Six Hood Compton Cribs where they did the interview with Alex Alonzo and they went on to say that they hold down one block on 126th Street of Wilmington or Willowbrook. It's, it's between there, you know, 
trust me on that one. I'm like pretty sure. Now, I never heard nobody say they was extinct, but a few people from just judging by the videos probably only assumed that it was only a few of them, you know, over there. But I dug deep in the crates for this one right here, man. You know, I had to pull a few strings here and there, but you feel me? You ain't gonna get this nowhere else, man. All right? Remember the OG with the mini fro that was giving us the, you know, he, was, he, he, he gave us the priceless history, you know, and, and the stories that we all loved and you know, real cop the history that we definitely didn't know before. Here's a flick of him right now with his homies. Bah! No, you did. You slipping. Bah! Got you again. What? <laughs> yeah. Wiggins did hit you with six hood. Where you go get that from, huh? Okay, yeah, I did that. I did that. That's right. Shouts out to the Sixers, man. Hub love, man. You already know, man. You know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep hitting you side to head, man. You know what I'm saying? We gonna keep the culture going, man. Whether they deport me or not. All right. Next, you got the two eleven criminals, man, at Linwood. For months and months, I've been trying to get a Linwood two eleven criminal interview. And I'm proud to say it has finally come to fruition. So tonight around 9 o'clock LA Pacific time, it's going to be dropping on my channel. So make sure you check it out. It's real spicy. You don't want to miss it. But to be honest, I already had in mind to include the 211 criminals on this episode. Because I already had flicks of them that I was going to put out there as a teaser for the interview. But since my boy Venom that I did the interview with... Already gave me some flicks, you know. Here we go. Now remember, the homie from 211, he was kind of light-skinned. And he had a rap song where he was with his homies in the park. And they was all uh, rocking uh, Raiders gear. And they was sporting gray and black. I think his name was Teflon. Forgive me if I, I'm wrong. But here's a flick of him with his homies right now. Bah! Don't run. Got him again. Bah! Yeah. Yeah, I did that. All right, next. Woo! You ready for this one? Dollars earned always gangster crips. This gonna be another one of my favorites, man. When I first started doing uh, Forgot It Hoods LA, I talked about a hood called a Dollars Earned Always Gangster Crips on 95th Street between Maine and San Pedro. Now, there was a few haters and people that didn't really believe it and said they hood didn't really exist. You know, well, man, you know, I'll play. I'm going to make you believe it, whether you want to or not. Here's a rear flick of which I'm about to break the internet. A Sinai 6 dollars earned always gangster crips. Bow! Now, here's a few things. Hold on, hold on. I got to get you again. Bow! Now, here's a few things. You know, is it recent? From the looks of it, no. But be thankful, man. You know, you finally got some rear flicks, man. You thought I was lying for a second. And another thing, you know, because there's not really no 96th Street over here, Pete, that's another reason people don't really believe it. Well, I heard somebody say that. I could bring the comment up. But I'm guessing, you know, Cody, you know, would be the 96th. Because this, it, from my, like, Cold, there's a Cody Street and then there's another Cody Street. It's like two streets, like strange to me. I never understood that. But hey, maybe we could get him on an interview. You can let me know. All right, let's go on and lock it down, man. The 103 Hard Time Hustlers. Shout out to the 103 Hard Time Hustlers, man. I really appreciate you. Help me much love. If you remember well, I just did an episode recently. 103 Hard Time Hustlers versus Denver Lanes. And I felt like I had to include this episode because a few people was talking trash, you know, in the comments saying they wasn't really there no more. My, my question to y'all is this. How can they not be there no more? And they shooting videos with drones in the broad daylight in the same place you saying they not at. Now, I get people do scandalous things like shoot quick videos or run, but this is an actual music video shoot with drones, bro. And they sitting on chairs, you know what I'm saying? So I'm just saying, you know, I ain't trying to make a, put a tent on the tube, but that's just yeah that's just my observation bro so make it make sense man you know make it make sense but besides that man here's a flick of the 103 hard time hustlers that i got man bow all right 
that's going to be it for today, man. You know, uh, yeah, that's it, bro. Make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe, and send that dollar, bro. I ain't done with you, bro. Send that dollar, man. Make it happen. Let's see. But, uh, you know, keep it locked for the interview tonight, man. But make sure you check uh, check with me tomorrow. And let's look at the results, you cheap mother. I'm out of here.